Good morning, modern steaders. We finished up the firewood shed just in time. Draining today, or not right this minute, but it was a minute ago. It's supposed to rain on and off all day today, so it's a perfect day to switch gears and start getting the barn, the workshop, I should say, ready for insulation. Did you guys stay dry there? Oh, I'm sorry, did I wake you? Here, I'll put your food right here. There you go. It's nice and dry. More in there, chops. Caleb, you slept on the bunk bed? Zeke. Yep, it's full of goat turds. I know you slept there last night. It's the first night you slept up there, isn't it? Good morning, mister. You ready? Had to break out the old flashlight this morning to milk it by. I really want to start wiring up the barn right now. But the way we've got to insulate, we need to insulate first and then wire. It's a little backwards, but I think it'll make sense once we get going, guys. So we need to get it prepped and ready to get insulated, so that way we can get it insulated, do some other steps, and then get it wired up. And then once it's wired up, we can have lights out to the milking room and in the workshop. Because we all know it's that time of the year, daylight savings time is going to be coming, the days are getting shorter. It's going to be darker. Thank you, Willow. You ready? You want out, don't you? This way. Come on. You guys all gonna hang out inside today since it's raining out. Little pee in the feeder. <sighs> she gets into more mischief than you hope. She sure does. You're supposed to be the mischiefy one. And it's little pee. I don't think we ended up showing you what we ended up doing for a petition wall in here. We put some cattle panel. Then we can stack one year's worth of firewood on this side right up against the panel. We don't have to worry about it falling over. And then this will be another year's worth of firewood on this side. Morning, ladies. Where are you, Moose? What are you doing? Did you impress her with your little dance? We have a big project that we've been working on for all summer, but really for the last month. I can't wait to show it to you guys. It's been making some aspects of filming here at the homestead difficult. So hopefully within the next couple of days, it'll be done and we can reveal it, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, we can't wait to share it with you. And just like that, we're at one of our favorite stores. need some lighting in the barn and the milking room temporarily for now. Yeah, I think that'll be bright enough.
be here for a minute for this next part. Let's get a stew going before we go down to the barn to work so that way we'll be ready when we're done working this afternoon. Don't now forget to plug it in. I got it plugged in already. <laughs> we're using organic grass-fed Angus beef from farmfoodmarkets.com. If you guys want to check out their website, they have all grass-fed beef from small family farms. I'll have a link in the description down below with a 10% off promo code. This is going to be one of my favoritest stews. Is it one of yours, I don't Gina? Think favorite is the word. Yeah, but I like that word. Feelings on the potatoes, but Miss Olivia is not a fan. Tomato paste. I think it's like a secret ingredient to this recipe is the tomato paste. And then beef broth. Well, what do we have in the refrigerator? You checking out all the supplies, Figaro? Think we got enough? Does it pass your inspection? gonna have so much kindling this year we're running out of room to keep all the kindling too we still have kindling left over from when we built the house four almost five years ago ah. you trying to distract us from work huh you trying to distract us yeah you are aren't you yeah, most of the stuff in here is not even big enough for sign material. Number. 
No, no bird houses, it's just scrap kindling. We'll also have to get that door up, trimmed out and installed. And then we'll get your other sign on that. Yeah. Right over in that pile. Nope. A big pile. A big pile. I'm glad I ended up putting the Lumna Acres right in the right spot. What do you mean? Well, if I, it's right in the, where the doorway was. Okay. When I would pour in the concrete, it's kind of like, okay, I think the door will be in this area. I think this, if I write it here, we'll still see it later on. What are you doing, Figaro? You taking over? Huh? Are you taking over? Now we get to do a little house cleaning. Or workshop cleaning, I should say. Need to get all these walls clean so we can get them prepped for when they come and do the foam insulation. So we gotta get them all cleaned off right now. <laughs>
we got done with that part just in time. Now it's starting to rain out. Get all these two by threes in under cover before they get wet. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, it's cold. What's that? Got rained on, they look all dark now. Your puppy dog woke him. Banner. You were so close to sneaking up on him too. Look at all the rain we got. Look at all those puddles. Hey, at least I stayed out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna kick the cucumber. What's the matter? It rained out, so now you don't want to come out. Want some fresh water? You know how Hope used to sleep underneath the milking stand? She sleeps underneath the bunk beds. You know who else does? Who? Magnolia. <laughs> Hope's the only one who wants to get up for hay. The only one coming out? Willow's not even standing up. No. What's your guess? I love this time of the year. I've been able to cook and eat meals like beef stew. Oh, I just love heavy meals like this. And once it starts to become, I hate to say it, fall, oh, we can start cooking these meals again. It's not too hot. It's kind of nice being able to warm up the kitchen. But the thing I don't like about this time of the year, like right now, here it is, 10 of 6 in the morning, and it's still pitch black outside, guys. I don't know about you, but when it starts staying darker later in the morning and getting darker earlier at night, it beats me up. It makes me so tired and sleepy. Ugh. And then we'll be changing the clocks back. It's the seasons. Looking forward to it on one hand, but then on the other hand, it's like, ah, oh, summer's over with. I don't know about you guys, but how do you feel about the change of seasons? It's, it's always mixed here. We like some parts, and then other parts, it's like, man, but we're looking forward to it. <clears throat> we get to we get to slow down a bit and change gears, going from outdoor building projects to more indoor projects. Today's video was a good, for instance, of that. I had to do a lot of cleaning to get ready for the next phase. But I gotta 
we're going to get it spray foam. We've got a few things we need to do, but while we're doing the next few processes, I'll bring you guys along and I'll talk to you. I have a few ideas I'm thinking about doing. I'd love to get your feedback on it and what you think we should do or we shouldn't do. So, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out a few a few steps here, but I think it's all for the good, or I know it's all for the good. It's just depending on which look we're going for. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. The big surprise that we've been working on for the last two weeks to a month, we've been planning it for years, planning it really hardcore all summer, but it's been in the process for a couple of weeks now. That should be getting finished up today, in which we're a couple of days behind on our video. So my hope is to do a big reveal of it in a bonus video on Wednesday. So be looking forward to that. I know I'm excited for it, guys, and uh, the animals are going to love it. That's all I'm going to say. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along on our crazy journey of us with us, guys. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.